Today we saw some really warm temperatures, but it looks like we're going to cool down a little bit overnight here with 54 degrees as our low temperature. We'll have mostly clear skies, which will be pretty nice. You won't be able to fall asleep to that rain, though. Tomorrow we'll be able to warm up into the lower 80s. I can't, I can't. I'm sorry. So we had unseasonably warm weather this afternoon, but it looks like overnight we'll drop to the lower 50s with mostly clear skies, but tomorrow we'll be heating back up again to the lower 80s. We have 81 degrees in Athens, 79 in Atlanta, 80 in Winder, we'll have 83 in Washington, still a little bit toasty, but it looks like we will be cooling down soon with our five-day forecast here. It looks like Wednesday we'll have a slight chance of showers. 78 degrees will be the high, 47 will be your low. Thursday and Friday we'll have highs in 71 and 72 degrees. It's getting a little bit cooler for your weekend, so break out your favorite fall sweater. Your mid-60s are your highs. In your Georgia, Florida Friday forecast, it looks like at St. Simon, 7 a.m., it'll be around 61 degrees. There is a chance for early morning thunderstorms but it looks like it'll dry up by that afternoon with mostly sunny and a high of 72 degrees. Perfect weather to be out there on the beach. And in Jacksonville on Saturday for kickoff, it'll be 71 degrees, mostly sunny. It'll be breezy, 10 to 15 winds, miles per hour, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. And it looks like you're going to have to hold on to your tailgate spread so it doesn't fly away, but it'll be a beautiful day for a fantastic game. I'm Allison Alds and that's your weather.